Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, I have here the new Samsung Galaxy Note 3 right here in white. Uh, we're gonna do a comparison test just to show you guys how powerful this phone is comparing to other devices, uh, just to give you a better idea in terms of scores and all that. Um, so anyways, uh, let's uh, tell you guys what we have here. So next to the Note 3, we have the Note 2. Uh, here on this side, on the right side of the Note 3, we have the new Drawing Max. Uh, on the left, uh, I'm sorry, the, the far uh, right, we have the Droid Ultra. Uh, here next to the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, we have the Droid Mini. And the last phone on the left is the new Moto X. As far as the droids or the Motorola's, I believe they are 1.7 GHz dual core. Very fast phones for our dual core processors. As far as the Note 2, we have a quad core 1.6 with 2 gig of RAM. All phones have 2 gig of RAM except for uh, the Note 3. Now, the Note 3, we have 2.3 gigahertz quad core processor with 3 gig of RAM on. So, uh, we're gonna do an Tutu uh, benchmarking test and we're gonna go ahead and start. Uh, let's start with the Moto X. As a matter of fact, let's uh, open all of them and we're gonna uh, test again all right let's go ahead and start with the test i'm just gonna start with the moto x One thing I can tell you right now is that the new uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3, it's absolutely amazing. Extremely powerful, very, very fast phone. You guys are gonna see the result uh, in comparison to the other devices, it's gonna be way, way higher. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, the Note 3 already finished with the test. We're gonna come back in a second once uh, all devices finish. Alright guys, so we have the results ready. Uh, I'm gonna start with the, this, the lowest uh, score first. And that will be... That will be the Droid Max. The Droid Max scored 15,078. 15,078. And I'll bring the phone close so to the camera so you guys can see. Right here at the bottom, 15,078. Um, kind of disappointed with the drawing max. I was expecting a little more than that. Uh, after that one, we have, we have the Droid Ultra. The Droid Ultra will be the second um, slowest, I guess. 20,549. 20,549. And actually, this uh, video right here, guys, is actually helpful for, for those of you that are on the market right now for a new phone. Whether you're going to renew your contract or just going to start new service. Uh, the Motorola SAR with Verizon, the Note 3 also is going to be available with, I think, all carriers. But if you're looking for one of the Motorola's, hopefully this is going to help you to decide which one is faster. So next to the Droid Ultra, we have uh, the Droid Me... No, I'm sorry. After that is the Note 2. The Note 2 got a score of 20,597. 20,597 for the Note 2. After Note 2, we have the Droid Mini. Amazingly, 
uh, one the smallest phone of the group got the third uh, best score out of all phones. So the Droid Mini got twenty one thousand hundred and twenty three. Twenty one thousand hundred and twenty three for the Droid Mini, and then the second best score out of all phones before we talk about the Note 3 it's the Droid X or Moto X Motorola Moto X got the second best score with 21,487 um, and now uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at the Note 3 the score in the Note 3, this is retarded. This is absolutely amazing. Now, 36,261 points. This is almost, not quite, but almost uh, double than any of the other phones. Now. So there you have it, guys. Uh, 36,261 points for the new Samsung Galaxy Note 2 absolutely amazing amazing phone with amazing performance super fast processor uh, amazing memory to handle all different uh, applications or multiple applications at the same time so guys uh thanks for watching and subscribe uh, that was a benchmarking test comparison there uh, between uh, model x droid mini droid max droid ultra Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and the new Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Thanks for watching, guys.